Hi there V gang, it's a girl V Morty and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time coming through to my channel, I'd like to say thank you so much for coming through. Remember to like, subscribe and comment and if you're a regular sub, welcome back. So welcome to day 10 of my 30 day filmathon where I'll be filming for YouTube for 30 consecutive days. So as you can tell from the title of this video, today I'm going to be talking about how you can get a 100% scholarship for your undergraduate degree. If you're interested in something like this, stay tuned for more. I'll be right back. comes to you because of a request by Kutaishe Chukubaure. Thank you so much for asking me to do this video. I am more than happy to share this information with you. So without further ado, let's get started. You should know by now that the first thing I always encourage you to do is to research. And when I mean research, I mean research everything. First things first, undergraduate degree is a degree that you will do to kickstart your career at the entry level. It is amazing for you to get a 100% scholarship which covers tuition, cost of living, a one-time ticket which will be covered by a provider without you having to worry about anything but focus on your studies. There is a little bit of pressure towards that, however, it is very important for you to know that it is absolutely possible. There aren't too many scholarships like this so you need to do your best to stand out the first thing that you need to do is to know where to look where are the funding opportunities coming from is it a government-based scholarship is it an organization-based scholarship is it a university-based scholarship is it a student specific scholarship is it a location-based scholarship is it a grant is it a loan what type of a scholarship or funding opportunity are you looking at I did explain what type of scholarship opportunities these are and I will link the video up here where you can get more information about the types of scholarships available there are websites that give you fast and reliable information as to where and what scholarships are available I will link their websites down below so that you can check them out to get more information about undergraduate scholarships now we all know that scholarships have a lot of high demand and they are also so hard to get why is this because there are too many people out there who are super smart and what exactly is making you stand out so you need to look at this from the founders point of view why should they choose you why should they give you their money instead of someone else so this starts with your grades whilst you're still in high school take up your O levels your AS your A level depending with how exactly you did metric I don't know what else other countries call it, but there are specific exams in high school that are used when you're applying for your university. So in order for you to stand out, you need to have good grades and most of the times a B and an A student are most likely to get a scholarship. Let me explain what I mean by this. A B student can get that full scholarship because some scholarship providers do not look at grades alone. They look at what can you offer as a whole person? What leadership skills do you have? Did you volunteer? Have you interned before? Have you done things that are not expected of you? As a high schooler other scholarship providers right don't look at anything else other than the academics so you need to be an A star through and through so this means you need to research what exactly is your scholarship provider looking at in most cases you need to apply for a university place before you can apply for the scholarship some universities give you the opportunity to apply for the scholarship and for a place at the same time so that means they automatically consider you for a scholarship once you've applied for the place the moment you get a place they're already pushing through your scholarship application but those sometimes are not necessarily 100% scholarships maybe just for tuition but in most cases you will need to prove that you're worth that 100% scholarship so there are other scholarship providers I will list them you'll see them as the video goes through these scholarship providers normally provide scholarships that cover everything literally your upkeep allowance every month tuition fee cost of living books any expense that you have they are covering it and that is absolutely what you should strive for what's going on with these people you need to prepare in advance this means that 
before you even finish your high school before your gap year comes to an end or let's say you are working you decided to work first before you go to university it's important that you prepare in advance and don't wait for deadlines to come through before you have actually done what you need to do so this means you need to research thoroughly research the university research the scholarship provider what are they all about what are the conditions of the scholarship do you have to work for them after you've graduated do you have to go back to your country once your scholarship period is done how long is the scholarship valid for is it a three-year scholarship program does it only cover your first year of education what do you need to do to keep the scholarship most likely and in most cases people who get a full scholarship have to maintain a certain grade in school and they also have to participate mandatorily compulsorily in certain activities that the scholarship provider stipulates that they should. Sometimes scouts come through to schools and they're looking for outstanding students. It's a great opportunity for you to actually just go straight to them, ask them directly for information. And most times when you have a face-to-face -face conversation with someone who's providing a scholarship, there's more chances that you're going to get more information than someone who's reading about it on a website. You also have the ability and the opportunity to ask deep questions that could also help you in your application. You need to work hard and keep motivated and apply and apply and apply as much as possible. The thing is, you could get a full scholarship on first go and then maybe you won't get a scholarship on first go. So I just believe in applying, applying and applying. Do not stop with, oh, I didn't get this first one, oh, I didn't get these first two. Just keep applying. You really never know what or how things can turn out at your third try. Make yourself stand out from other applicants. Everybody is trying to impress the scholarship provider. What makes you so different? What makes you the first choice or the right choice for the scholarship provider? This brings it down to your personal statement, your motivational letter. What exactly are you putting in your motivational letter? if this is going to be a needs based scholarship you need to part your heart and explain exactly what your troubles were what the hardships were why you are needing this scholarship if it's going to be an academic based scholarship you need to show them that you guys me i'm the person i've been the <laughs> academic g since day one you get what i'm saying so literally you need to be able to describe and express yourself through paper and it's not about big words and big vocabulary and trying to impress them with big words that you don't even know what they mean or look into the dictionary no it can literally be a simple straightforward motivational letter personal statement that is expressing so much more than someone who's writing all these big 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 words just to prove that they can speak in english it's not about that the other thing is that in most cases they're going to look at your english proficiency examinations this is maybe for like an international based 100 percent scholarship like a full ride scholarship you're probably going to have to do sats for your undergrad and then they're also going to look at your english proficiency that's either toefl or ilts depending with what exactly the scholarship provider wants you to look at some scholarship opportunities are of a foundation a foundation which focuses on abcd schools so you have the opportunity to apply to abcd schools if you get the place into these schools you can apply to this scholarship provider and tell them that yo i got into abcd my first preference my first choice is this particular school and i got in can you please fund me leadership skills are absolutely absolutely going to make you stand out have you volunteered somewhere have you led the community to do something have you started a project that was going to benefit other people than yourself you have to read the application instructions very carefully what exactly does a scholarship provider want from you when do you need to do it how do you need to do it because sometimes they want references sent directly to them from the person who's referencing for you so you need to know that information so that you're not sending references coming from you because sometimes they have a portal the person who's referencing for you has to go into that portal put in information fill in the reference form and send it to them directly so just read the information and the instructions very carefully so that you don't do the wrong thing when you do look at your personal statement grammar is very important spelling mistakes are not acceptable you just need to stand out I actually think it's a good idea for you to get you know those very strict teachers you know those ones who it's hard for you to get an A from because they're just so strict let them go through your cover letter personal statement motivational letter let them go through it and scrutinize it's better that you write it over and over and over again until you get a perfect paper
Also be very, I'm not saying don't lose hope, but also be realistic. There are so many exceptional people out there and it is extremely competitive. However, there is a chance for you to get that scholarship. It's just a matter of you trying, praying, believing, pushing, continue to push, push, push. And I've discovered that there are some universities which are not like Ivy League universities, fancy, fancy universities, but they do have amazing 100% scholarship opportunities. So don't keep your eggs in one basket. Why not look for other universities which are not necessarily like the top posh ones, right? But they are equally as good and they can give you a well needed scholarship opportunity. The other thing that I did discover is that some scholarships can come out to be full scholarships but not in the way that you're thinking. Some schools offer, let's say, 50% discounts for students' tuition, right? So that means you're left with 50% school fees to pay, tuition fee, and cost of living, books, all these other things, social activity fee, a ticket, and stuff like that. And then they have, especially in American universities, they have foundations that are specific to people, programs, outstanding students. So let's say, they say we're going to offer you a 50% scholarship, right? After that scholarship, because you're an outstanding student, an outstanding applicant, they offer you 5,000 US dollars for books, right? So that means books are covered. And then they also have different foundations under their university. One which focuses on students who apply for this particular program, they're automatically going to get 2,000 US dollars. That 2,000 US dollars can go towards your ticket. It's just a matter of communicating with them how you want that money to be used, especially if the conditions for that scholarship are not necessarily like, you know, strict, strict. If they're gonna say it's for allowance, you could tell them, no, I want it to be for my ticket. So your ticket is covered. They have another foundation under it which says, ah, at the end of the first semester, we're going to look at all the students and the top student is going to get 10,000 US dollars. And that 10,000 US dollars can go towards your living expenses. Like literally everything can be covered by the school and the school's foundations and people who are working with the school. It's not necessarily written as 100% scholarship. All I'm trying to say is that you need to research. And sometimes you don't even need to use agents to be honest. Okay, agents are good. It makes your life easier. You're not doing the work, but you're paying them extra money to look for a scholarship for you however when you do your own research it's a matter of just getting Wi-Fi or a lot of data you sit down on the computer on your phone you do your research you'll be writing down everything that you need to do right once you have all your information together you're literally able to apply to different foundations under the same school and get yourself a 100% scholarship which covers everything because you did your research you get what I mean? Another thing is that also when you're selecting people to do references for you, get people who are relevant to what you want to study or relevant to the foundation you're applying to. Unless of course there's no relevance at all, but if you're going to be applying for a medical scholarship, why not look for a reference who, like a doctor, maybe you interned or you volunteered with a doctor, get a doctor who's got good credentials to reference for you. That also kind of makes you stand up when someone who's very reputable gets to write and stand in your place and say, hey, you know what, this child is very outstanding or the headmaster or principal or just look at the quality of the person who's referencing for you. Don't just get anyone and yeah, just get them to write a reference. No, it doesn't work like that. Talk to your parents, talk to your career guidance teacher and get more information about that because it would actually seriously cost you from getting a 100% scholarship. So that's basically what you need to do to get 100% scholarship. Thank you so much for watching. If you have other video requests, let me know. I'm more than willing to make videos for you. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in my next upload. Bye. God bless.